back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back. Chili's Grill and Bar serves up Tex-Mex appetizers and entrees in a casual dining atmosphere. In 1975, the very first Chili's opened for business in Texas. The initial Chili's concept, which was created by company founder Larry Levine, was all about offering full-service, casual dining. I got a real good eye for prime meat. In 1983, the company's founder sold off the eateries to a businessman named Norman E. Brinker, who used to work for Pillsbury's Restaurant Group. These days, the restaurant offers a host of tasty choices to patrons, but there is a lot that most people don't know about Chili's. Did somebody say baby back ribs? So let's dive into the interesting secrets about this beloved restaurant chain and uncover the top 10 untold truths of Chili's. Are the drinks at Chili's watered down? What? One Chili's employee decided to anonymously spill the beans about the restaurant. They claimed that cocktails at the eatery are routinely watered down. Anyone who has noticed weak drink flavor while imbibing at Chili's may be sipping a drink that just isn't as potent as it should be. Of course, there's no outright proof that this happens. It's based on an anonymous report, as well as reviews from some less than happy customers. While it is a rumor, it's something that Chili's patrons may want to keep in mind the next time that they visit the restaurant. So why would drinks be watered down anyway? Well, there are a range of reasons why dining establishments water down cocktails. Ultimately, they do it to boost profits. Booze is expensive, and serving watery drinks means less booze per serving. The alcohol is diluted before it's added. Cocktails that don't deliver the usual kick may lead to more cocktails, just to get the typical sensation. Did you spill your water? <laughs> <laughs> this means more money in a restaurant's coffers, and possibly more bar tips, too. Watering down drinks is fairly shady because most customers don't realize that it's happening. They're being hoodwinked. When restaurants do it, they aren't honoring their customers. Customers aren't getting what they paid for. TGIFs got busted and fined for watering down drinks. To be fair and balanced, some people who've posted online love Chili's drinks, and one raved about the amazing taste of the spicy Sousa Jalapeno Margarita, which was described as boozy as well as spicy, sweet and salty. This place uses too much ice. <laughs> Speaking of a perfectly balanced treat, show us some love by clicking that subscribe button and tapping that bell to join our notification squad. Many Chili's customers don't have room for dessert. You wanted cake, you got cake. Now eat it. Chili's staff reportedly try to push desserts on their customers, possibly to sweeten them up before the bill comes and it's time to decide on tips for servers. But many Chili's patrons may be too full to indulge, even though the eatery's selection of four luscious desserts is pretty enticing. The large appetizer and portion sizes, as well as happy hour specials on drinks, may be the reason why a lot of customers can't find room for molten chocolate lava cake, cheesecake, s'mores molten cake, or skillet chocolate chip cookies. One former staff member at the restaurant says that the desserts taste great and sometimes trigger unwanted weight gain among Chili's servers and other Chili's employees. The next time you're at Chili's, you may want to order one of these desserts, which are highly rated, even if you can only find room for a bite or two. While they aren't diet desserts, they aren't supposed to be. Chili's is about filling customers up with the kind of food that they crave. There are healthy menu options at Chili's, but the desserts are meant to be a treat, and this means sugar and fat. If you usually skip desserts while eating at Chili's, it may be time to sample these sweet confections. Although you may need to hit the gym the next day, it might be worth it. And it's only your fault if you don't hate yourself enough to do something about it. The official Chili's website describes its desserts as big enough to share, so everyone at the table may want to have a taste. If info sourced online, which doesn't come directly from the Chili's website, is accurate, the molten chocolate cake has more than a thousand calories. If you eat just a quarter of it, you'll enjoy a decadent taste without the big caloric intake. Wait times for service at Chili's can be an issue. Oh, hi there. You're not closed yet, are you? Customers who come to Chili's want prompt service, but a Chili's insider says that wait times for service are often an issue, mostly due to understaffing. This eatery is very popular and brings in patrons in droves. Some have to wait before being seated or be patient while their food and drinks are being prepared. Customers who don't mind a bit of wait may not have a problem with the wait times, but the various unhappy reviews on TripAdvisor don't look too great for the restaurant. This problem is real. However, it's hard to say if the eatery's wait times are any longer than the wait times of its chief rivals, including Applebee's and Ruby Tuesday. Even so, wait times may be an issue that are hurting the restaurant's bottom line. Are you guys sure Applebee's is the best place to meet hot, horny women at? 
What do you think, an Olive Garden? Last year, Chili's experienced a downturn in business. The restaurant chain earned 2.2% less profits, based on comparisons with the previous year. This led to restructuring, like downsizing, which would lower the cost of operations and help Chili's to make the most of available resources. Casual dining as a whole has taken a hit recently, so Chili's isn't the only restaurant that's suffering. Chili's did decide to lay off 30 field team staff members, as well as 50 members of its corporate team, in order to trim costs. But if the wait times are already due to understaffing, it's hard to see how this will help. My meal has no taste. You're welcome. PJ Bland's Stuffed Eat. Microwaves are a Chili's kitchen staple. Ooh, microwaving them. Come on. It's disgusting. For God's sake. Some restaurant customers don't mind when their food is prepared or heated up in microwaves. Others are looking for more from their culinary experiences at eateries. So get ready, because things are about to get good and messy. A Chili's insider who shared anonymous information about the company's business practices reported that microwaves are a big part of Chili's kitchen processes. They are used to cook food. This Chili's gossip is one person's point of view, but there is a chance that the company prepares the majority of its dishes in microwaves instead of on stoves or inside ovens. Those who are focused on finding the freshest food at local restaurants may want to consider this before deciding where to grab their breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Also, there are people who think that microwaves are harmful to human beings. One famous person who is definitely anti-microwave is Kourtney Kardashian. Get the out of here and go! She won't use a microwave at home, so she might not want to chow down at Chili's. Some stuff at Chili's is delivered frozen solid and is then heated up in skillets. There are people who don't want reheated frozen food at restaurants either. In the internet age, staff members at big chain restaurants are able to spill the beans about eateries that they work for without revealing who they are. Some of the Chili's food is healthier than you might imagine. Welcome to Chili's! Since Chili's is known for deep fried food and massive portions, it's not the first restaurant restaurant that most people think of when they want to eat healthy. However, a lot of people don't realize that there are healthy items on the Chili's Grill & Bar menu. While a typical meal or dessert is going to have a lot of calories, ordering the lower calorie options is always possible. To find the healthiest items on the menu, we researched calorie counts. One entree to consider is the Caribbean salad, which is available with shrimp or chicken. It reportedly has 610 calories. Being vegan just makes you better than most people. Bingo. Chili's official website doesn't post calorie counts. The nutritional information is available upon request only, but other websites have posted calorie counts for an array of Chili's menu items. When you choose the Caribbean salad, you'll find that it's a better choice than the eatery's quesadilla explosion salad, which has double the calories. Bear in mind that menu items change from time to time. Be sure to ask your server what's lower in calories on the current menu. A lot of servers of big food chains are discouraged from revealing the whopping calorie counts of many of their menu items, but don't be afraid to request nutritional information. The restaurant has it and must share it if you ask for it. Some of the Chili's food is loaded with calories. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. On the flip side, some indulgent dishes at Chili's are calorie laden. Sometimes that's what people want. Chili's is delivering dishes that meet the expectations of their customers. An article posted by a major American news network lists Chili's Big Mouth Bites as a high calorie option that weight conscious and health conscious consumers may want to stay away from. Chili's Big Mouth Bites is a collection of four miniature burgers that are seasoned with American cheese, the restaurant's house ranch dressing, bacon, and sauteed onions. Each burger has under 400 calories. When you eat all four, you take in 1,580 calories, as well as 28 grams of bad fat, the saturated kind. You're only supposed to ingest 20 saturated fat grams each day. Not to mention the fact that 1,580 calories is practically a whole day's worth of calories in one meal. Another downside of these cute and tasty burger sliders is their sodium count, which is sky high at 2,930 milligrams. Do you mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Go right ahead. Dishes at Chili's may not always be sparkling clean. Hey, what you guys doing? That's a lot of dishes to be washed. Wash them yourself, right? 
One Chili's employee who posted at Reddit, bear in mind that anyone can make up anything online, says that the dishes used for customers' meals are just not clean. According to this Chili's expert, particles of food and damp lettuce would cling to washed dishes and knives, spoons, and forks. The Chili's team would wipe off the debris before putting food on the dishes. This employee is the same one who dished about frozen food being heated up in pans and the common usage of microwaves. You think I'm a f***ing rat? In the opinion of this alleged insider, the dirty dishes at Chili's are really an open secret, rather than something that nobody knows about. While it's commendable that staff take the time to wipe the plates and bowls before loading them with Tex-Mex food, they should really be clean after being washed. Big food chains need to put quality control first, and this includes making sure that dishes for customers, along with cutlery, are sparkling clean. One Chili's waitress who talked to a women's magazine website said that the atmosphere at the restaurant is chaotic but controlled. Work Workers need to move fast, match their pace with other employees, and generally juggle an awful lot of stuff at one time. This may be the reason why dishes and cutlery are sometimes less clean than they should be. Chili's probably isn't the only big restaurant chain that has issues with keeping dishes spotless for customers. The Chili staff upsell alcohol to grab bigger tips. These people bust their ass. This is a hard job. So I was working at McDonald's, but you don't feel the need to tip them, do you? When a table orders alcohol, their bill at the end of the meal is higher. Higher bills generally mean bigger tips for servers. Of course, bigger bills also mean bigger profits for Chili's. This is why customers at the restaurant will probably notice that their servers suggest boozy bevies to them. Of course, the servers are just doing their jobs. Lots of people want cocktails, wine, and beer, and love hearing about which alcoholic beverages are hot and happening. But there is a profit motive behind the upselling of alcohol. This is true at most big chain restaurants. It's not something that is exclusive to Chili's. I got reservations at Chili's. I'm meeting my boys. You have a reservation at Chili's? Mm-hmm. It's still something that people should be aware of when they visit the eatery or any other. You should order exactly what you want to, without being too influenced by a server's encouragement to sample cocktails, wine, and beer. Lots of servers rely on tips to survive, so it's not hard to understand why they push the boozy drinks. One Chili's waitress found herself jobless after posting online about wanting to spit in the food of low tippers or no tippers. She lashed out after getting around five bucks on a tab of $138. Come on, you. Cough up a bucket, cheap bastard. Most chili servers are great people. This was definitely an isolated incident, but it shows just how driven servers are to get tips. According to stats found online, most servers get $12.03 an hour for their work at the restaurant. Always be generous with tips if you get good service. Do you want to do your shot? She's probably spinning it, so no, thank you. The Chili's secret baby back rib sauce is no longer a secret. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. A major news network with a website posted the secret sauce recipe for Chili's popular baby back ribs. I just want my baby. <laughs> I just want my baby! If you want to prepare this dish at home, you should be able to find full sauce recipe details just by doing a simple and quick Google search. According to the news networks, you'll need ingredients that include apple cider vinegar, liquid hickory smoke, and dark brown sugar to create a perfect dupe for this special sauce. After you mix up the delicious sauce, you'll need to slow braise the baby back ribs to get the right taste. The recipe isn't hard to follow, but has quite a few ingredients, so you may want to head for a local Chili's instead and enjoy being served if you don't feel like doing all of that work. Lots of copycat recipes for popular restaurant dishes are out there online, but there's really nothing like the real thing. Chili's became an industry powerhouse for a good reason. They deliver the Tex-Mex taste that their customers want, plus massive portions, reasonable prices, and most of the time, caring and pleasant customer service. What more do you want from me? <laughs> kids have accidentally been served alcoholic drinks at Chili's. Okay, kids, this is our Uncle Jaeger. That's right, drink up. Busy restaurants don't get it right every single time, but some slip-ups are more serious than others. For example, a mom named Pamela Bruning, who took her three young children to Chili's, decided to get a non-alcoholic daiquiri that could be shared among the trio of kids. She wanted to cool the children off because they'd been outside in the heat enjoying the 4th of July. The drink that was delivered and shared in three cups did contain alcohol. Love you, man. No, man. I love you. Uh. 
The cops came to investigate and a prosecutor got involved. Employees at Chili's said that the order was not communicated accurately to the bartender. In other words, it was a big mistake. Kids can get very sick from ingesting alcohol, so servers and bartenders need to be extremely careful when it comes to taking orders and making drinks. Thankfully, there's no adverse effects to our videos, so click that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and stick around to check out more of our great videos.